Vattenfall, back in 2021, started off a joint venture with Midlothian Council. That joint venture is called Midlothian Energy Limited. And it's a 50-50 joint venture between Vattenfall and Midlothian Council with one sole goal. And that is to decarbonize the energy system across Midlothian and the surrounding area. And the first project that Midlothian Energy Limited is investing in is the heat network connecting the Miller Hill Recycling and Energy Recovery Center with the new town of Shawfair. Right now, we have started um, to build out what will be Scotland's, probably Scotland's biggest private sector new town development that will rely 100% on district heating from a low carbon source nearby. The major advantage is that we are replacing fossil fuels as our, as our modus operandi, as our day-to-day -day way of generating heat. But the most important part is that it's replacing carbon emissions related to heating with zero emissions. So here uh, at Shaw Fair, um, we're drawing our heat from a local energy from waste plant, uh, which is essentially taking um, residual waste, black bag waste, and turning it into different types of energy. Shaw Fair Town for Vattenfall represents a, a really important demonstration that, that district heating at scale is doable and significantly that Vattenfall know how to do it. But when Vattenfall takes on a district heat network, it isn't just about digging the trenches, putting the pipe in, closing them up and saying, thank you very much, done dusted. We hold a long-term commitment to look after the, the heat network, and that goes right the way through from the drawing off of the, the waste heat, right the way through to providing the heat to the end user. So I'm a project development engineer. So I look at the feasibility stage of a network from the fairy dust concept design all the way through to the delivery stage. Uh, so I will look at how the routing will be designed, what the pipe sizes should be, and also look at the heat load and the connections. And that will come pieced together. I also then price the project, which is quite fun, especially quite turbulent, especially in the market that we're in at the moment. The energy from waste plant that's behind the trees will receive the rubbish from the local area. It will then burn that rubbish, quite literally. It's impressive, the furnaces, it's, it's very hot in there. That heat will then go and it will, it will run through a steam turbine. That steam turbine will generate electricity as well as heat to run this network. In that true sense, it's, it's energy from waste. Um, that heat is at 90 degrees that we will receive from the steam turbine and we will run it through our pipes. Uh, the energy from waste plant, as I've mentioned, is 20 megawatts worth of heat that we can serve to around 3,000 homes. We are looking to expand. There's hospitals, there's universities, there's uh, different developments as well that we could connect up to. In this first phase, is about three to four kilometers worth of pipe. Um, that also includes branches. So as you can see here, this is a very large scale pipe. This will be the main spine, but we will also have branches that come off the main spine that will serve, serve smaller houses, developments. Uh, the pipes are buried around between 1.5 to 1.8 meters. Heat networks as a utility. It's just, it's similar to your fiber broadband or your gas network in the sense that we will serve hot water that runs through these pipes. The actually interesting thing that most people don't realize is this hot water in this pipe is not what you use for your taps and showers. It's a sealed loop, but the heat that runs through it will go through a plate heat exchanger and that will then heat the house. So it's a controlled environment the water is very precious. Um, we have to quality trust the water. We would look to tap into any heat source that we can get our hands on, essentially. Um, the energy from waste plant is, is a great example for that. That is 20 megawatts worth of heat. If there are other developments, such as data centers, that would be brilliant. Sustainable energy is the future. Um, we are starting to realize that the next generation are coming through and they're challenging us. The Vattenfall are one of the leaders of, of all energy companies to decarbonize at such a rate. It's exciting. It's, it's really one of the most exciting companies to be working for in the UK. Um, as a female engineer, I'm extremely empowered. I have a fabulous team um, and I, I just I enjoy my work.